when we're filming, do, uh, if the mic has got to be on up here, green light. Just let me know when we're filming. Okay, let's turn you this way. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Alright, let's see here. Okay, just be real careful with your index finger. It's like it's wanting to come up on the lens, that's all. Alright, go ahead. Hey everybody, Jamie here, Enigmatic Pneumatics. Today is Friday. It's day 10 of the van build party. And we're out on BLM land and there's a few things that I would like to talk, talk with you guys about uh, as far as what's going on. Uh, first of all, uh, we've got more than 30 jobs done and it's going really well a lot of people are getting a lot of help during the build and so I couldn't be more proud of all the volunteers pitching in so just wanted to cover that as you see the vantage point that uh, Aaron's holding the camera filming you see solar panels different uh, type of equipment that's come in from uh, Amazon and different places come into our mailbox here we've got uh, an earlier video I did of uh, Donnie and his family the uh, wounded veteran that needed solar power. We've got all of our goals met with that. Thank you so much for everyone pitching in. We're just waiting on the batteries and a couple little things to come in and we'll get that installed going. Uh, let me show you something else too. Come on over here. Here is a Harbor Freight uh, 100 watt solar kit that uh, a lady named Catherine is donating to a gentleman named Robert. He knows about it, I told him about it yesterday. We're gonna use uh, some of the batteries out of Donnie's rig if he's cool with it. We're gonna give him uh, a battery, Robert, to put with this and an inverter to put with this. So he's gonna be getting free solar. He didn't think he was gonna get solar when he came here, but I'll talk over the, the airplane. But he's getting it. There's another gal right over here that's living in a tent. Got here on a Greyhound bus. I put a thing out on Instagram and Facebook. I don't know if you guys watch those, but uh, she doesn't have a car. And Brian Gifford is donating his car. It needs some front end components, but Seth is a mechanic. And I'm gonna go ahead and cover the cost of the front end components. And we're gonna get that car fixed. And she doesn't know it yet. We haven't presented it to her. And I'll help her with the registration and uh, the cost just to get her in that. And then she'll be leaving here with a car. You know, so she's gonna be leaving a heck of a lot better than how she came because of Brian Gifford, because of you guys. And, uh, you know, I, I wanna stress that everything that I'm able to do is because of people that uh, are patrons on my Patreon account, that, uh, you know, are boosters through the, the PayPal donate button, you know, it's and, and the people that are here volunteering their time, sometimes coming out of pocket volunteering cash for different things. And so everything that I do, I just want to let you know if it, it may come across as philanthropic, but I'm doing it because you're helping me to do it. So that brings us to what's going on right now. Uh, I had no idea that, that the van bill was going to be this size. And I'm glad it's this size. I want it to be bigger. I want it to double. I want it to triple. I want it to be a thousand people. But because of the size it is right now, we're having a real hard time even moving from state trust land to BLM land. And it appears that we need to get a permit because it's an organized group and it's over 45 people. Now check my facts, because I could be saying the numbers wrong on the 45 people, but we need to get a, uh, a permit. And evidently the red tape involved in that would be such that I don't think I can go down Monday and get one. I'm gonna go down and talk to Amanda at the BLM office. You know, we're doing great things. We, we outfitted Bill's uh, handicap trailer with uh, ramps, lights in case he has a roadside problem, solar, we're doing great things for people, but I don't know that necessarily that's a, enough of a reason for them to uh, step outside their guidelines and get us a permit uh, in an ex expedited fashion. But I'm gonna go down and talk to them. We're in Lake Havasu. We can go, there's places close by, but I got a ticket this morning and I wanna show it to you. <clears throat> the ticket is for having too many people in an organized group. Failure to obtain required special recreation permit. And so it's a class one felony. I don't know what a class one felony is, if that's bad or not. 280 bucks. And so if you're watching this and you're inclined to help chip in on this, I'd really appreciate it by hitting the PayPal donate button, just a buck or two. I mean, it's just, if everybody pulls in together, if you're not inclined to do it, I accept full responsibility for not getting that permit in time. So I'll handle it. It's not gonna, you know, put me under a bridge for a month or something, you know, I'll, I'll handle it. But that's what's going on with that. If you don't mind chipping in on it. Uh, 
here's what I really want to get to on the root of this video. If anybody knows a place where we could finish this event, because you saw the solar panels that we have, we haven't uh, presented the gal with her, her car yet. We haven't uh, presented Robert with his, this is on videos that are coming up that I'm just jumping ahead of to give you this video in light of what's going on. Uh, a lot of stuff still coming in from pa uh, our packages to finish people's installs. It's going really well, but it looks like we're only gonna be able to stay till Monday, and then we're gonna have to stop and come up with a plan. And I've been talking to the to the officer that uh, came out to write the citation, and uh, it just doesn't look like we've got many options. If we go to National Forest Land, the magic number is 70 people, and I'd probably have to get a permit for that. Maybe I can't get one fast enough. If we got 75 people, we'd be right back in the same boat. If we went down to Ehrenberg, which is a real low social pressure BLM place, we might be back in the same boat if uh, you know they came out and saw us there, because it's still BLM land, and I don't want to be, you know, a wise guy and say well let's just go hide someplace I want to do this out in the open I want to do this the right way so if anybody knows that's watching this a way that we could continue this I really believe that something really good is going to come from this and I just don't know what it is yet but if anybody knows a way that we could continue this event we're near Kingman we're near Needles we can come back around we're near Kingman we're near Needles we are near uh, Bullhead City and Lake Havasu and uh, of course, we're in uh, Lake Havasu now. We could go down to Parker. There's places we could go. If you're watching this and you have a few acres that we could come out and not, not drive your neighbors crazy if you live out in the middle of nowhere and you're willing to have us come there, let me know. If you have a solution like that where there's private land, let me know and uh, I can make an announcement and we can go. And I'm, I'm sure everybody's willing to drive 100 miles. I just want to finish these jobs mostly. And I'd like to have a Thanksgiving meal too at the end. So. Uh, we've got, uh, if you're watching this and you're at the event or you're coming to the event, we've got Ryan coming from Blue Sky uh, Solar Controllers. He's going to be here at 11 o'clock on Saturday, which is tomorrow, to give a presentation about solar controllers. So you don't want to miss that. That'll be at the main fire. Uh, He's flying in from San Diego. I'm, I'm real uh, stoked about his visit. We're going to learn a lot about solar controllers and how to properly calibrate them. Good things are happening here. We just need a venue, and it's all my fault for not setting it up ahead of time. I will get a permit for this location next year, so I'm on. Uh, my plan is to have it at this location next year. It could take up to 180 days to get the permit, so I'll just start the permit process before I leave uh, this time. And uh, the only thing that I can see holding us back is if I've got to get some kind of enormous insurance policy for liability reasons. But uh, let's just take it one step at a time. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you don't mind helping out on the ticket, if, you, if you're inclined, I'd appreciate it. If you have a place where we could do this, I'm not a big event coordinator by nature. It's just growing so big that we need to uh, accommodate uh, the rest of this event. And so if you have ideas, please contact me. Let me know in the comments section and uh, let's just keep it going. So with that, I'll go ahead and, and uh, end the video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again very soon. Thank you.